can hear you. Yeah, I think you just woke up. Yes. <laughs> You just woke up from your nap. Okay. So now, look, I'm so sorry because yesterday, right, we supposed to have class, but now, okay, it's good that you're available now. All right. So how are you today? Um, I feel how are you? tired today, but um, Overall, I feel good today, and now I'm in a good mood. Wow. <laughs> you feel tired. Why? Because of your homework? Because of uh, paperwork? Uh, because yes. of school? Yes. All right. So, what about when is your vacation? When is your when is your summer vacation again? Um, it's quite far. Oh, uh, I think it will, like, uh, it will come over mm, more. Fine. Uh, oh, I don't know, but it will mm, summer vacation in Vietnam is uh, June, September, June, June, yes. June. Ah, oh. so I think you're just in the middle, right? <laughs> Yes. You're just in the middle of the school year, so you have more months to go. All right, so anyway, good luck on your studies. <laughs> I know that you can do that. You know what? When we, are, when we were studying too, we were very excited to finish the school, okay? We are very excited to graduate and find work. But, of course, you will miss your classmates too, okay? All right, so anyway... Um, we will continue our lesson last meeting. All right. Okay, so last time I think I think I gave you homework. Yes. All right. So I told you to make a video or record your answer to this question. What do you think is the easiest job and the most difficult one and why? Yes. Mm -hmm. So did you do your answer? I did you do your homework? Uh, yes, but I can't uh, make a video, so I will I will talk it now, and you will listen to me. Is oh, yeah, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, so can you tell me your answer? Um, yes. Um, I think the easiest things is to do nothing because. In my opinion, everything has uh, its own difficulty. Nothing is easy. For example, uh, the service profession, you must be careful and patient. If your personality is too easy to anger, uh, y you will be able to do it. The second example is uh, the profession of a teacher. Um, if you study well, but you teach no one understand or cannot inspire students, you will also fail. Those are my personal thoughts and views. I hope it won't upset you if we don't have the same opinion. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's your answer already. Okay, so I think, yeah, you are right. So there is no easy job, okay? All right, so I think everything that we do is difficult, okay, based on what you do, all right? For example, uh, for example, for me, maybe I can say that my job is the most difficult one, but in your opinion, you may think that your job is the most difficult, right? So yeah. we have, we have different opinion, okay? So we, we should not belittle, okay? We should not belittle other jobs like for example oh your job is too easy you're just sitting down there you're not even you're not even using your energy right to yes. to do something but we do not know right maybe they are using their mind okay maybe they are also stressed even if they're not using their energy they are using their mind to think okay yes that is why we have blue collar job and white collar job. Do you know those jobs? Blue collar and white collar? 
No. Oh, okay. So when we say blue, co- as in color blue, okay, blue color job, okay, the spelling is blue, but we do not define them as they are not. They are wearing color blue shirt, okay. We just call them blue color. So when we say blue color jobs, ngok, these are jobs that uses uh, uses a uh, physical uh, physical energy, okay, like you are using your force or your energy to do that job like for example um carpenter like builders okay all right so sweepers okay those are quite a uh, blue collar they usually work outside yes. how about white collar what do you think is your opinion about that um if the blue collar job is uh, use physical. I think the white job is something like don't need to use physical much, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, they usually you work inside an office. Okay, like doctors, architects, teachers. Usually they have the degree, okay? They finish college, okay? Oh, yes. Yeah, and they get higher job. They get higher salary. Okay? All right. Yes. Okay. But, of course, we should respect both jobs, okay? If Even if it's a blue collar or even if it's white collar, okay? Yes. All right. So, thank you so much, Ngo, for doing your homework. All right? Even if you aren't able to do the video, still, you deliver your homework very well. Okay? So, now... Let's continue our lesson. Can you see my screen here? Yes. All right. So we have here, last time, we have learned uh, different vocabularies about jobs, right? So yes. as you can see, uh, as you can see, Ngok, you can find the different uh, vocabularies here. All right. Okay. So starting today, uh, last time, I will send you the vocabularies so that you can review that at home, okay? Yes. All right, now, what are you going to do is you will read the sentences below, you will listen and decide if the sentences are true or false, okay? Yes. So let's listen first. Lesson 5C, exercises 7 and 8. Today in our series about unusual jobs, I'm talking to Sean Aitken. Sean spent... Oh, wait for a moment, okay? So that you can see it. Okay. Wait. Lesson 5C. Exercises 7 and 8. Today in our series about unusual jobs, I'm talking to Sean Aitken. Sean spent a year doing not one job, but 52, one for each week of the year. Hello, Sean, and welcome to the show. Hi. So when did you come up with the idea? It was when I finished university. I realized I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. What did you study at university? I did business studies, but I had no idea what to do with my degree. So, how did you come up with the idea of 52 jobs? Well, I asked my dad for advice, and he said I should do something I was passionate about. But I didn't know what that was, so I set up the website, oneweekjob.com. I asked employers all over the world to give me a job for just one week, and I would do a new job every week. 52 different jobs. Yes, uh, one a week for a whole year. I wanted to discover what I'm truly passionate about. How did you find 52 jobs? It's difficult enough to find one. Some people offered me a job when they heard about what I was doing, but I found most of the jobs by searching online. What jobs did you do? Give us some examples. Uh, Radio DJ, fireman, journalist, yoga teacher, baker. I couldn't find all the jobs in one place, of course, So I had to travel a lot. Did you take any holiday? No. I worked for 52 weeks without stopping. It was incredibly tiring, traveling between each job, finding somewhere to stay. 
I often had to sleep on someone's sofa for a week, and I was always short of money. But in spite of that, I've had an amazing time and met some fantastic people. You were short of money. Didn't your employers pay you? They paid me, but I never had much money to spend. That's because I donated all of my wages to charity. What was the most challenging job? Working on a farm. That was so hard. I had to get up at five o'clock every morning, and the work was very tiring. So, what did you learn from your fifty-two jobs? I learned that to enjoy your job, you need to be really passionate about it. Your job has to have meaning. It's more than just money, and it's important that you work with people that you get on with and who have similar interests to you. So, would you do it again? Well, at the moment, I'm helping other people around the world to do their own fifty-two week job project. I found that I'm passionate about helping others. Thank you very much for coming in and talking to us, Sean. My pleasure. Okay, did you understand what you have heard? Oh,、um, not actually. <laughs> okay, not actually. All right. So, okay. So I will tell you about the story. Okay. So Sean, okay, is the one who's talking in that audio. And Sean wanted to find what job he's passionate about. That's why he did the 52 weeks job challenge, or he will、uh, he will try different job every week. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's try if you can answer these sentences again. So the first one is kindly read. Yes. After talking to his dad, Sean knew what job he wanted to do. All right. Do you think it's true or false? Uh, it's false. All right, it's false. Okay. How about number two? I、um, an accident outside of work prevented him from returning to his previous job. Um, I think it's true. All right, it's true. Okay, let's find out later. Next, number three.、Uh, he found a majority of the jobs on the internet. He found the majority of the jobs on the internet. Is it true or false? Um, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. What about number four? He took a few short breaks between the jobs. I think it's true. It's true. What about number five? Sean saved a lot of money while he was working. Um, it's What true. What do you think? It's true. All right. What about number six? Yes, it's true. Okay. He thinks that's important to work with people who you have a lot in common with. All right. So that is. True. Okay. So Ngoc, I want you to check your own answer. Okay. So we will listen again, and then you will tell me if it is true. Okay. If you got the correct answer. Okay. Yes. Lesson five C, exercises seven and eight. Today in our series about unusual jobs, I'm talking to Sean Aitken. Sean spent a year doing not one job but fifty-two, one for each week of the year. Hello, Sean, and welcome to the show. Hi. So, when did you come up with the idea? It was when I finished university. I realized I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. What did you study at university? I did business studies, but I had no idea what to do with my degree. So, how did you come up with the idea of fifty-two jobs? Well, I asked my dad for advice, and he said I should do something I was passionate about. But I didn't know what that was, so I set up the website, OneWeekJob.com. I asked employers all over the world to give me a job for just one week, and I would do a new job every week. Fifty-two different jobs. Yes,、uh, one a week for a whole year. 
I wanted to discover what I'm truly passionate about. How did you find 52 jobs? It's difficult enough to find one. Some people offered me a job when they heard about what I was doing, but I found most of the jobs by searching online. What jobs did you do? Give us some examples. Uh, radio DJ, fireman, journalist, yoga teacher, baker. I couldn't find all the jobs in one place, of course, so I had to travel a lot. Did you take any holiday? No. I worked for 52 weeks without stopping. It was incredibly tiring, traveling between each job, finding somewhere to stay. I often had to sleep on someone's sofa for a week, and I was always short of money. But in spite of that, I've had an amazing time and met some fantastic people. You were short of money. Didn't your employers pay you? They paid me, but I never had much money to spend. That's because I donated all of my wages to charity. What was the most challenging job? Working on a farm. That was so hard. I had to get up at five o'clock every morning, and the work was very tiring. So what did you learn from your 52 jobs? I learned that to enjoy your job, you need to be really passionate about it. Your job has to have meaning. It's more than just money. And it's important that you work with people that you get on with and who have similar interests to you. So would you do it again? Well, at the moment, I'm helping other people around the world to do their own 52-week job project. I found that I'm passionate about helping others. Thank you very much for coming in and talking to us, Sean. All right. So I think you found the answer. Yes. Okay. So what do you think is the answer for number three? He found uh, the majority on the jobs, on the internet. Is it true or false? Uh, true. All right. It's true. Okay. So now what about number one? Do you think you got the correct answer? Yes. Yes. How about number two? Mm, I'm not sure. Right. This is false. Okay. Because after university, okay, he don't know or he doesn't know what he's going to do. All right. So he started that job after entering the university. Okay. Yes. All right. What about number three? So this is correct. So he took a few short breaks between the jobs. True or uh, false? false? Yes, it's false, right? He didn't stop. Okay, number five. It's true. Oh, Sian saved a lot of money while he was working. Are you sure? Uh, oh, no, it's false. Okay, why? Why do you think it's false? Um, what did he do with his money? Uh, I think they, they pet him, but... He um he can pay pay spend money much. Uh -huh. He donated it to the charity, right? That's why he didn't spend much money because he donated it to charity. And number six. All right, this is true. Okay. All right. So very good, Ngoc. Sometimes you just need to listen again, okay, for you to understand well the audio. Okay. So the next one, the best jobs in the world, probably. Okay, so let's find out what is this all about. So what do you think is the best job, all right, in the world, probably. Okay, so we have here a paragraph. Okay, we will read it first, okay? So kind of read, Ngo. Back in 2012, Andrew Johnson was near the end of his history and photography degree in Chicago. He planned to apply to film school after graduation rather than look for a job, but then his, uh, dad, but then his dad noticed an advertisement for a job with toy manufacturer Lego. Andrew, who was already a Lego fan, sent in an application. It included a video of himself making models. The company loved it and invited him to take part in an, an unusual interview. He had to compete against seven other finalists 
in a model building test Andrew Wong, and as a result, they offered him a job. He joined the team at the Legoland Discovery Center in uh, Illinois. Can you say Illinois? In Illinois, as a master model builder, he meets visitors and helps to give them exciting new ideas. Perhaps one day he will go to film school, but for now he is happy. Lego was always just a hobby, but now I can do what I love and get paid for it," said Andrew in an interview. Do you find it difficult to get out of bed sometimes, especially on frosty winter mornings? Well, uh, imagine. Well, imagine. Having a job where you don't have to. Joe Unsworth was as a juve, du, yeah, juve tester. Juve tester for John Lewis, a British department store. She has the job of finding the most comfortable duvets in the world to sell in their shops. Joe has a degree in textiles. So she can recognize good quality, but the real test of a duvet is living under it. It's probably the only career where it's okay to fall asleep while you're well, at Yes. Jo says she often can't believe how lucky she is to have her dream job. What, in, what is more, she finds it rewarding. If I do my job properly, hundreds of other people sleep better. It's brilliant. Okay, very good. So, what do you think is the best jobs in the world? No, for you. Mm -hmm. What do you uh, think is the best job according to this paragraph? Oh, based on this paragraph. Uh, it's quite long and I can't <laughs> Yeah, okay. So we have here two stories, okay? We have here two stories. We have Andrew and it is uh, the girl. It is Joe, okay? Yes. All right. Okay, so the first one is, all right, Andrew found out his job. It's just as a hobby, okay? It's just a hobby, but he get paid what they get paid doing that hobby okay so it's very good like lego are you familiar with lego yes yes and playing lego is his hobby but he got it as a job so it's the best job for him because he is doing his dream job and also with what also with joe right okay so he's oh she said that he she feels lucky okay she feels lucky because she's doing what she love also okay yes all right so do you know the word uh duvet okay this one do you know the job no all right no okay so this is that word okay all right this one all right so her job her job is to make sure or to test if that duvet is comfortable or not, okay? So there are customers who are going to ask, what do you think is the best duvet or um, bed for us? Okay, and then she will be the one to recommend, okay? Yes. All right, so that's good. Okay, so now let's have here. Next. Do you find it difficult to get out? Oh, I think we are done with this. All right. Okay, so this is the same as the second one or the third one here. Okay. All right, so the question is, um, look at online job advertisements. What is the best job you can find? Explain why you think it is the best. Okay, so I think this will be your your homework later okay so you are going to find jobs that you can find in the internet maybe you look for different jobs and then tomorrow you will tell me what are the jobs you found and what do you think is the best okay yes 
All right. So that will be your homework later. So let's first talk about your dream job using these prompts. Okay. You can say, when I grow up, I want to become blank. That job is rewarding because blank. Because I want to earn a lot of money or other reasons why you want that job. Okay? Yes. Alright. So, Ngok, I'll give you two minutes to prepare for your, for your answer. Okay? I want you to talk about your dream job. Yes. Okay, I think I'm done. All right, so can you tell me your answer now? What do you think is your dream job? So, when I grow up, I want to become an English teacher because uh, the jobs, uh, for me, the jobs really interesting and re rewarding me a lot. Um, firstly, because, uh, firstly, I want to uh, be I want to being a teacher in the future because I want to uh, uh, I want to do an a stable job mm -hmm. and I want to do a job which is uh, not not to not have to travel far from my house and I can earn slightly I can earn slightly a lot of money and I can um, maybe I can have many leisure time to uh, to oh my god I forgot his work uh, uh -huh. what do you think oh if if I become an English teacher in the future I think I will have lots of laser time and I can do whatever I want something like uh, I can hang out with my friend or uh, spend a lot of time um, with my family and uh -huh. yes. um, so that's all okay that's all and I thank you <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much. So you said that your uh, dream job, as you said before, when we started this class, you told me that you wanted to become an English teacher. Okay, and your reasons are good. Okay, but I think I didn't hear like you love teaching. Is that one of your reason? Because you love to teach? Yes. Yes, yes. You, you've said that. Okay. Yes. So you've also wanted to teach kids or teach children on how are they going to improve, okay, in their in their studies, okay, not only for English speaking, okay, but also for other things. So that is the first one, okay, because when we see teacher not we are not going only to think about the money, okay? <laughs> because sometimes, sometimes it's not really a good salary, okay? Yes. <laughs> sometimes you really need to have the passion, the patience to teach kids, especially when they are hard-headed, especially when they are stubborn, especially when they are not listening to you, right? Yes. Okay? <laughs> because there are many students who are 
not going to listen. But still, okay, we need to be patient, okay? Yes. All right, so, okay, that is a wonderful job, okay? Because they said that being a teacher is the no, what? Is a noble profession. When we say noble profession, they respect that job, okay? Because if without a teacher, there will be no engineers, there will be no doctors, there will be no other jobs, okay? Yes. All right. So I hope you can achieve that dream of yours. All right. So look, we are done with this lesson, my dream job. All right. So we have here unit 12, my dream job. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. So no, you don't have. So are you ready to, to move on to the next lesson? All right, so we have here unit 13, electronic devices. Okay, so this will be our next lesson for today. So when was electronic devices, Ngoc? Are you familiar with that? Mm, yes. Mm, what do you know about electronic devices? Uh, I think it what do you know? Is, uh, is this is some devices that uh, these are devices that I can explain it for you because um, mm -hmm. yes can you give me an example of electronic devices um, yes uh, uh, t TV television um, then Mm. Fan, Mo electric fan? Yes. Okay. Um, washing machine. Uh, fridge. Yeah, uh, refrigerator. Uh, and many more. Mobile phones. Okay, so yes, you are correct. Okay, those are examples of electronic devices. But, okay, sometimes, okay, electronic devices. So these are things that uses electricity, right? Yes. Okay, so there are a lot, okay? Mm, as you said, the refrigerator, okay, television, computer, Okay, laptop, okay, mobile phones, those are all examples, okay? All right, so that would be our topic for today. Now, in this lesson, we will learn about vocabularies. We will have about electronic devices, household appliances, right? So in grammar, we will also learn zero conditional and making invitations. All right, so now look, first, can you tell me what are the uh, what are the electronic devices that you have at home? Mm -hmm. Can you give me some examples? A laptop, mobile yes. phone, mm -hmm. uh, television, um, fridge, a uh, multi rice cooker. Mm -hmm. um, yes, rice cooker. Um, a washing machine. Yes, washing machine. A stove. Yes, a stove. And uh, that, that's all. And that's all. Very good. Okay, so those are examples. All right, do you think it is helpful? Do you think it's very helpful? Yes. Okay, yes, of course, all right. Okay, now, all right, we will talk about this, okay, these examples of, all right, electronic devices. So the first one is, okay, do you have the mobile phone? How much time do you spend using your mobile phone? Hmm? So what about you, Ngok? Do you usually use your mobile phone how much time do you spend using it um actually i usually use my phone 
uh, and maybe I spend uh, three hours a day spent using my mobile phone. Three hours only? Mm, Are you sure? It's, it's the average. <laughs> oh, that's the average. That's the minimum. Okay, yes. that's the minimum. Okay, time that you spend using it. All right. So now, what about uh, these electronic devices? What do you think? Um, what do you think is this? Uh, it's camera. It's a camera. Okay. What about this one? Um, laptop or okay. Yes, it's a laptop. All right. So now, no. We have finished, okay, this one. You told me a while ago, examples of electronic devices. But now, what are the three electronic devices that you most, uh, I don't know, you used regularly? Yes. Uh, what yes. three? Can you give me three devices? Okay, yes. or electronic devices that you used regularly or most regularly television laptop and uh, mobile phone are the most electronic devices uh, are the most regularly that you used yes. <laughs> that i used regularly okay <laughs> All right, so laptop, television, and mobile phone. Okay, so now look, we are going to listen to the word list. Do you understand the meaning of all the words and which devices do your family have? All right, so let's have first, number one. Um, cam, camcorder. Yeah, camcorder, number two. Digital photo frame. Yeah, digital photo frame. Next. Um, digital radio. All right, digital radio. Ebook reader. Yes, ebook reader. Next one. Games console. Game console and. Uh, HD TV. Yeah, HD TV. Next. Um, hard disk. Recorder. Okay, hard disk recorder. MP3 player. Mm -hmm. Notebook. Set nav. Satellite, satellite TV. Mm -hmm. Smartphone. Tablet. And, and tablet PC. Very good. So now, do you understand or do you know all these electronic devices? Which the electronic devices you are not familiar with? Mm, I think hardest recorder and games console. Oh, oh Game? no, and sat nav. Oh, sat nav. All right, so let's find an example of sat nav. All right, so this is an example of sat nav. All right, so are you familiar with this picture? Oh, yes. Oh, what do you think is the use of this sat nav? Mm, it's like. Uh, the, the small map on oh, where do we usually see this um, in a car yeah it's very good in the car it's like our google map right if you don't know the place okay this device will show you where is that place how how far is that place from your city okay all yes. right, so next one. What about this one, camcorder? Are you familiar with this, camcorder? I'm uh, not actually. All right, not actually. Okay, this is an example of camcorder. Oh, no. Okay, camcorder. So it is usually used by by YouTuber. Yes. Are you familiar with YouTuber? Yes, okay, because it this camcorder has a good quality you can take a video and you can also take photo okay yes all right so but i think this is expensive right yes. <laughs> okay next one what about oh hard disk recorder okay mm -hmm. this one right you're not familiar with this okay i'll show you an example all right here hard disk recorder okay so now look uh, before 
when we do not have yet Spotify, we do not have yet YouTube, we are using this to listen to music. Okay? Oh, I like yes. this one. All right? You're going to put this DVD, uh, CD player. Okay? Yes. All right? And then you can watch movie or you can wa you can listen to all music. Okay? Yes, yes. Uh, what about you? Do you still have this at home? Yes. Oh, do you think you are still using it? Uh, no, we just use it to uh, sing, sing some song with friend or with uh, or with um, someone who uh, not in my family. Oh, like karaoke. Yes, karaoke. And, and listen to music. Yes. Okay, so if you wanted to sing songs, okay, you can just use hard disk recorder, okay? All right, what about um, ebook reader? Are you familiar with ebook reader? No? Mm, yes. What do you think? What do you think is the use of that ebook reader? Uh, I think ebook reader is, uh, it is the book that we can uh, read online or read on some website on the internet. Okay, very good. So instead of buying books, hard copy of books, you can just download books in the internet and then you can use your mobile phone to read. Okay? Yes. All right, so very good. Okay, and next one, Nyong, I think I will give you first your break and then we will answer this vocabulary later. Okay? Yes. All right, so I will show you this later. Okay? You are going to answer, all right, here. Okay, answer the following activity later, right here. So you are going to choose your answer from this, uh, from this digital or electronic devices. But you can still, you can have first your break time, okay? Yes. All right.
All right, hello. Okay, so now ngok. So let's have here number one, okay? So the first one is, I can carry hundreds of books around with me on my blank and I don't need a bag. What is that? Hmm? E-book reader. Okay, very good. So that is number one. Oh, no, no, it's not notebook. Okay, it's number one. Okay, ebook reader. All right, very good. What about number two? Okay, we can record over 100 hours of television programs on our blank hard disk recorder. All right, so very good. Next, number three, can you read? Yes. Uh, we've got blank at home. There is a choice of more than 100 channels. Okay, so we've got, what is the answer again? Um, satellite TV. Yes, very good. Satellite. Are you familiar with satellite no? Um, no. Okay, so when we say satellite no, for example, when you do not have, when you don't have satellite, you can just watch, you can just watch two channels all right okay on your television but when you have satellite of course you will pay you will pay more but you can watch a lot on your television okay so this is that we call satellite tv all right this one okay you are going to put this uh, at the top of your roof and then you can watch a lot of things lot of channels on your television do you have this at home yes of course yes okay we called it satellite tv okay all right so the next one is number four my dad takes his with with him on train so that he can work what is that mm -hmm. my dad takes his blank with him on train so that he can work. All right, is he going to bring HDTV? <laughs> no. And okay, what do you think? I think a uh, notebook. All right, notebook. So do you think do you think she is talking about this kind of notebook? Mm. All right, do you think she's talking about this? Mm. No, I don't think so because uh, if she just bring, uh, if she if he is brings only this notebook, I think he can't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think is he or what do you think are they talking about in this dialogue? What kind of notebook? Um, Have you seen that kind of electronic device? Okay, we called it, okay, we called it, okay, laptop, a small laptop, okay, um, all right, so this one, this is a smaller, okay, all right, we don't, sometimes in my country we call it netbook, okay, netbook, instead of calling notebook, we called it netbook, this is just small, all right, Yes. Okay, smaller than laptop. You can bring it anywhere, okay? All right, so what about the next one, Ngok? Number five. Um, I can do anything on my phone, on my smartphone, play mm -hmm. music, record videos, send emails, and make phone calls, of course. Yes, that is the, uh, the thing or the job of our phones. Next. The picture on our new blank is amazingly clear. Um, the picture on our new HD TV is amazing clearly. Okay, very good. So, Ngok, what do you think is the difference? What do you think is the difference between TV and HD TV? Um, I what think, do you think? I think the normal TV and uh, and the HD I think the difference between HD TV and normal TV is uh, the HD TV will uh, um, some of function of 
the HD TV will be the best, um, better than normal TV. Like uh, the quality of image of uh, HD TV will be uh, will be more clearly. Uh huh. Uh huh. And normal TV. Yes. How about yeah. you, Ngoc? What are you using at home? Are you using a normal TV or HD TV? Um, both of them. Oh, both of them. Oh, you have two TVs at home? Uh, yes. Oh, that's great. Okay. So, yes. Okay. When you are watching HD or on HD TV, of course, it feels like you are watching on the cinema also because it's very clear. Okay. Usually nowadays we you we are using this kind of television, right? But before, all right, normal TV. Uh, no, no, no. Not, there are also flat screen TV, but when it's not HD, it's not really clear as HD. Okay. Yes. All right. So now, do you have any questions here? No. Okay. No, you don't have. All right. So you got all the correct answers. Okay. All right, so very good. Now we have another activity here. You are going to, I think you saw the answers already. <laughs> okay, we are going to listen. All right, listen to four radio advertisements. Match each ads one to four with a device below. There is one device that you do not need, okay? So are you familiar with advertisement? Oh, yes. Do you know what is the oh, okay advertisement? It means they're trying to convince people buying this kind of electronic device. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's have here. Okay. Lesson six A. Exercises six and seven. One. We're lost. No, we aren't. I know the way. We passed that church 20 minutes ago, Daddy. No, we didn't. It's a different church. Emily's right. We're going round in circles. Why don't you just ask the way? No need to ask. Rootwise will help you to find the way every time. Comes with stylish case and mains charger. You have reached your destination. Two. New from Logicon Machines, the Slim Boy. It weighs only one kilogram and is just 25 centimeters by 15. Capable of running multiple applications with built-in wireless technology so you can pick up your email and surf the net while you're on the move. And with an incredible 15-hour battery life, you can take it anywhere. Ideal for computing while commuting. Available in 10 colors, just £199. Yes, folks, you heard. That's £199. In selected stores only while stocks last. Not all colors available in all stores. Prices start from £199. Standard model, £399. Battery life depends on usage. Terms and conditions apply. Okay. Three. You... <laughs> it's so and fast. here are the hockey results. Come on, Boston. Come on, Boston. Philadelphia 4. Vancouver 1. Come on, Boston. Boston 2. New York Rangers. <laughs> what? I didn't hear the results. What was the result? Don't worry, because you're using the HDR360. You can pause the program and watch it later. Or even rewind it and watch that part again. Really? That's amazing. Okay, now be quiet. Shh. The hockey results. Philadelphia 4, Vancouver 1. Come on, Boston. Boston 2, New York Rangers 7. No! Oh. The HDR360 with twin tuners so you can record two programs at the same time. And a massive 100 gigabyte hard disk. You need never miss your favorite program again. All right. Did you hear Four. that? Four. Ever <laughs> run out of things to <laughs> read on holiday? Tired of carrying heavy books around with you? What you need is the E200. 
you can download over 2,000 books. The rechargeable batteries last for up to one week of continuous use and it comes with a power adapter to recharge from the mains. It's lighter than most paperback books, but it can hold a whole library. The E200. The library in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think you've heard that. That's the slowest one, right? <laughs> number four is the slowest one. What do you think is the answer for number one? Uh, number one is uh, letter E, set now. Okay, letter E. What about number two? Uh, number two is letter A, tablet PC. Okay, tablet PC. Number three? Uh, number three is letter B, hard disk recorder. Okay, I think it's funny, right? It's very funny. What about... Oh, letter B? Is it letter B? Yes. Okay, and number four? Uh, number four is letter D. Ebook. Okay. All right. The library in your packet, right? Small library in your packet. Okay. So let's see if you've got all the correct answers. Number one is letter E, 2A, 3B, and 4D. Okay. So you've got the four or you've got all the correct answer. Okay. Even if it's too fast. Okay. So yeah. good job, Mok. Now... All right, so I think I give you, I will give you your homework, okay? So I think, uh, let's go back here. Okay, wait. What was the homework that I told you a while ago? Hmm. Okay, this one. So I told you to, right here, research, okay? Research on the internet, different kind of job, okay? Job yes. advertisements online, and then tomorrow, Maybe you can tell me some examples of jobs that you found and then um, explain why you think it is the best job. Okay? Yes. All right. So maybe you find how much they're going to earn with the job. Okay. Or how many days they're going to work and so on. Okay. Yes. All right. So this will be your homework. Just find or look in the, on the internet or on your computer. And then explain it to me tomorrow. All right. So Ngok, we will continue this lesson tomorrow. All right. Do you have any questions? Oh uh, no. Okay, no. So we will meet again tomorrow at this time, two to three p.m. Okay. But All right. What? No question for. What is it? For the listen. Um, I think all the character have vibration effect on the voice. Right. What? What? I think all the character in in, in the, the audio in the audio have their vibrate vibration effect in uh -huh. the voice. <laughs> yes, of course, right? Okay, they're going to use different equipment also. Okay, to make it more beautiful, to make it more uh, interesting to listen. Okay. Yes. All right, so that's what they do on advertisement, okay? So that they will catch the attention of the audience. It's amazing, right? <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, Ngok, for having you this afternoon. And you can take a rest now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.